Hi friends, I'm Pastor Joel Gertner, the National Director of Jesus Cares Ministry. We're excited to give you yet another resource for our friends with special needs to learn more about their Savior Jesus and grow in their faith. We're happy to provide you these videos of the live stream of our simplified worship service, Worship of the Cross. We pray that you would find them beneficial. In case you don't know, Jesus Cares Ministries is one of the ministries of the Lutheran Home Association. You can learn more about Jesus Cares Ministries by going to our website, tlha.org, and clicking on the Jesus Cares Ministries tab, or you can visit our Jesus Cares Ministries Facebook. Well, welcome everyone to Worship at the Cross. Good to have those of you who are here at St. Mark in De Pere, Wisconsin, and Welcome to those of you who are watching online. So good to have you here for, for Worship at the Cross. A lot of fun things that we get to do in the service, but at the same time, how awesome it is for you and I to be here to worship, to give praise to a holy God, to give thanks to a, a God who provides, to sing and give praise to him in song, and then to pray to him. And I would certainly encourage those of you here to think about the ways that we can talk to God. How can we ask him for some help? Uh, how, what can we give him thanks for? And if you're watching online, uh, I do want to interact with you as well. But most of the time, I'm going to be looking at the people here who have joined me in person. But I'm so glad that you are joining us online as well. Let us know where you are watching from, if you would like. And then please, in the chat line, let me know what we can pray about for you. How can we give thanks to God? And I know some of you have been watching many times and I'm so thankful that you're here. But if this is your first time here, welcome. So Worship at the Cross, you'll see everything on the screen. We'll go through each part. And then you get to ask questions. You get to have your prayers. And when we're in the song, and we have Mr. Babbler here, to sing with us. Uh, you can use a shaker like this. This is just a water bottle. It's got some beads in it, and it works great. You can give praise to God in song. You don't even need something like this. If you just want to sing, you can. And if you're watching at home, there's a lot of different things you can do. I know some of you jump up and down. Some of you walk around in your living room. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's okay to do that as we give praise to God. And so I would invite you to do that as we begin today. We'll grab our shakers and let's begin with our first song. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. singing with me and let's take our shakers we'll just rest them on the ground and if you're watching at home go ahead rest your shakers on the ground as well that way we can focus on our service here as it begins and you'll see that at home what we're going to do here is we're going to have a, a candle lit we're going to ring a bell and that is a sign that we are beginning our service so we light a candle to remind us that Jesus 
is always with us. And so, Dennis, you had, or, or Kaylee, Kaylee, you had offered to light the candle today for us. So if you want to light that candle, we light the candle. That reminds us Jesus is always with us. There's a little button there. There you go. We light the candle to remind us Jesus is always with us. That's all right. And while you grab that, then if you want to hand the bell to Dennis, and Dennis is going to ring the bell after that candle, you got it, Kaylee. That's okay. Take your time. There we go. The candle is lit. We ring the bell to remind us that this is the time that we get to listen to God's word. We get to sing to him. We get to pray to him, as we will in a little bit. So the service is called Worship at the Cross because on that cross is where Jesus died for my sins, where he died for your sins. And so we have the candle, the cross, and the bell. We worship God. He is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Together, let's all say amen. 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 There you see on the screen, and if you're watching at home, you see the clouds. So where we are right now, it's very cloudy, but sometimes when we're here, you see the rays of sun coming down. And so we don't know what God the Father looks like, but that's a good picture of God in heaven caring for us. And then Jesus, God's Son, and the dove is the Holy Spirit. Let's pray, and then you can join me at home praying, and you can join me here as well. Dear Heavenly Father, come and be with us today. Bless our worship. Give us understanding as we listen to your word. Give us joy as we sing to your glory and give us peace as we bring our prayers to you. We ask this in Jesus' name and together let's all say amen. 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 Today was a good day. Was it a good day for you? Yeah. Have you ever had a bad day? Mm Mm-hmm, yeah. So in my good days, it's difficult for me to say, God, I've sinned. And on my bad days, sometimes it's difficult for me to remember that God does forgive me. Sometimes I know those of you watching at home and those of you here, we might say, it was a good day. I don't have to talk to God and confess anything but we are sinners. No matter how good or bad day our was, it's always good to go to God and confess those sins, whether it was a small lie that didn't seem that bad, whether it was maybe some real deep worrying about things, because God doesn't want us to worry as well. So if a person is worrying and in jail, that's a lot, right? So I hope the people who are in jail, we have people who share Jesus with people in jail, and that person can ask for forgiveness for their sins. And then something small, and you see my boys, they're arguing over the remote, that doesn't seem like something that big. It doesn't even seem like something God would care about. But he does. He wants us to listen to those authority. He wants to take care of other people. And he especially wants us, even though he knows that sin, to confess it. So today I say to you, dear children of God, God's holy. God doesn't sin. God's holy. He doesn't want us to sin. But we are sinners, and we do what God tells us not to do, and then we fail to do the things God tells us that we should do. So today, let's tell God that we have sinned by saying just those simple words, God, I have sinned. Say that with me. God, I have sinned. Let's tell God that we are sorry with those simple words, God, I am sorry. Say that with me. God, I am sorry. Here's the best part. Jesus died on the cross instead of you, instead of you, and instead of me. Jesus' death paid for your sins. And so today you can be certain that these words are true when you say, Jesus died for me. Say that with me. Jesus died died for me. Through faith in Jesus, God, he has forgiven all of your sins. And so you can share that good news with other people and the people around you here today and the people with you at home by saying, God forgives me. Say that with me. God forgives me. That person goes from their knees in confession to jumping, to putting in their hands up, to celebrating 
celebrating that we have that forgiveness. And so say that with me as we celebrate and give thanks by giving thanks to God for what he's done. So we say, thank you, God, for taking away my sins. Say that with me. Thank you, God, for taking away my sins. Let's have a prayer. Join me if you want in watching at home. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Now we know that we have forgiveness for all of our sins. Now we know that we are your people. Now we know that we will live with you in heaven one day. Together, let's all say amen. Amen. Today I want to share with you a message from a passage, and it's from the book of Psalm. The book of Psalms is a lot of different songs or words or heartfelt worries or praises that many of them are by a man by the name of King David who lived many years before Jesus. Not all of them are written by him, but some of them are, many of them are. And this one in Psalm 24, verse 1, talks about something. And usually I wait to share the passage with you until we talk about something else to introduce it. But today, I'm actually going to share that passage with you right away. And so Psalm 24 Verse 1, you'll see it up on your screen. It says, the earth belongs to the Lord. And so does everything in it. The world belongs to him. And so do all who live in it. Let's talk about that. Maria, did you want to help me out tonight? You want to come on up? Maria, if, if I'm, come on up. You can stand right, right next to me here. So Maria, if I'm going to ask you, I need some help. I need some help at my house, and I'm going to hire you to help me with some things in the yard, and I need some help with some flowers. And, and to do that, um, I really want you to come over. I'm going to pay you uh, $20 an hour, so that's $40, and you're going to earn that $40 by coming over and helping me with all those flowers, okay? Are you agreeing to do that? Yes. Okay, so Maria is agreeing to come over and help me. Let's say she has done that job. She, has she earned that $40? Yes. She has earned that $40. So Maria, would you say that $40 is yours? Yeah. Yeah, you would say that $40 is yours, that you made that money, okay? All right, maybe we'll talk after if you actually really wanna do that job, okay? So Maria earned that money. She said this money is hers, okay? Uh, up on the screen, you'll see a picture of a house. Now, it's not my house. I don't believe it's any of your houses. It's a pretty nice house. It's a very pretty house. Yeah, that would be nice to have a house like that. So the owner of that house, would they walk outside and say if Seth was walking by on the sidewalk, would they say, Seth, this is your house. Seth would say, well, no, it's not. It's your house. The person who lives in it, is it their house? Yeah. yeah, it's their house. What about the picture that you see next? This would be a picture of the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. Has anyone been to the Pacific Ocean? Okay, so that's on the West Coast. I've been there. Very beautiful in some parts, but the Pacific Ocean goes way around. It covers a large, very large area on the other side of the world. Yeah, who owns the Pacific Ocean? God does. Absolutely. Good answer. I, didn't, I wasn't sure. I should have been, had more confidence in you guys that you would know that. God owns the Pacific Ocean because he created it. He created that part of the world. The next picture, what does that look like? Any ideas? Canyon? The Grand Canyon. Yeah. Now, in, in theory, on paper, I'm guessing that the state of Arizona or the National Park System would say that they own the Grand Canyon, but God owns it. So 
let's go back to the house. Let's go back to the money that I gave Maria. But Maria said that was her money she earned. And that person who owns and pays for that house, that's a tough one. But we could say that the Pacific Ocean and the Grand Canyon are God's. But what do we do about the things that we bought or the paychecks that we earned or the TVs that we bought that we're watching Worship at the Cross on, on your iPad or your phone? It's not about the money. Okay, Seth. It's about God. Absolutely. Let's read that passage again because we're reminded in that passage and sometimes we need to remind ourselves where it says the earth is the Lord's. It belongs to the Lord. It belongs to God and so does everything in it. Everyone who lives in it, and that includes you and me, is part of God. God gives Maria and those of you here and those of you watching the ability to earn some money. Some of us, some of us can't do that, and that's okay. But God gives us the blessings of living in an apartment, living in a group home, living in a house with somebody. And those are blessings that we sometimes say, it's mine. It's mine. I'd like to say that that money that I had in my pocket is mine, but God has blessed me with that money. And so I would encourage those of you here with the many things that you probably have, or maybe it's little. I would encourage those of you watching the many things you have, or, or maybe just little things, small things. The things that we earn, the things that we buy, the things that we want and wish we had. That sometimes gets us into trouble too, doesn't it? The things we wish we had. And sometimes when we look at somebody else and we say, well, they have a cooler iPad than I do. They have a cooler phone than I do. That's jealousy. That's jealousy. Yeah. That is, a, that is will get us into trouble as a sin. So thank you guys for sharing that. And so I would encourage you to look at the things God's blessed you with. And God says, go ahead and use those things to serve me, to give honor to me. They're all God's, and that's okay. That's a good thing. And God has given us the privilege of using them here just for a little while until we go to heaven. That's my prayer for those of you here and those of you watching at home, let's see everything around us that we've been blessed with. The earth belongs to the Lord, and so does everything in it. The world belongs to him, and so do all those who live in it. Amen. If you are here tonight and want to put something into the offering plate, you can. If you're watching at home, this is an opportunity that I hope you have as we talk about the things that we've been blessed with to, to give back to God, and maybe God has blessed you or someone that you know to give back to the Jesus Cares Ministry, the National Ministry Office, and you see that in your screen if you're watching at home. And we are blessed here at St. Mark Ministries to team up with Jesus Cares Ministries and bring this service to not just the people here, but to so many people who are watching online. So thank you for that. And please share the service with others who may love to see it, who may love to hear God's word and see the blessings that they have. While... Our next song is getting ready. If you still have something you want to put in the chat line, as well as those of you sitting here, we'll take those prayers after this next song. Let's bring Mr. Babbler back and grab your shakers. Let's sing again. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's 
got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got everybody watching. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Mr. Babbler for leading us in song and for those of you singing at home and those of you here, let's rest our shakers and, and let's go to God in prayer. We have a few people watching that uh, have a prayer request, so thank you for sharing those online. Uh, Ryan, we've been praying for you lately and thank you for letting us know that your surgery went well. I know it sounds like you have some more work down the road, but thank you for letting us know that your surgery went well because we've been praying for that coming up and it's good to hear that that went well. As well as for Mariah's friends are, are all meeting at a camp this week. So that's really cool, Mariah. And I don't know if you get to go with them or if you just know your friends are at camp, but I pray that they all have a great time, a safe trip and, and travels. And that's something that you're pretty excited about as well. What can we, we'll pray about those things, but what can we pray about here as well? Yeah, Dennis. Okay. Yeah, so you said you were, your back hurt really bad last night. You ended up actually in the, in the ER for a while. Okay. Okay, for safe travels for us here. Yep. You did, okay. Well, we'll pray for those safe travels here. Why don't we, let's start with that prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for, for every person who is here and for those watching online Worship at the Cross. We're, we ask that you are with, uh, with Dennis, who has having some back problems, and that he is healed. If that be your will, he's able to find some, some uh, therapy for that, and that's able to get better. Uh, please bring those of us here back home safe today after the service, and we ask for your blessings with that. In Jesus' name, amen. Was there something else for anyone here? Dennis? Or, uh, Seth? Yeah? Another surgery? Your girlfriend is going in for another surgery? You have a friend who's going in for some surgery? Okay. Yeah, absolutely, Seth. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, we can pray for your friend. Let's, let's pray for that. Dear God, thank you for Seth, who's here. And Seth is a little concerned about a friend who's having some surgery as well. And so between that friend, who's worried, and, and I know that Ryan, who is watching us, knows exactly how Seth's friend feels. And so give that friend some, some comfort. And I pray that surgery goes well. And for Ryan, who had his surgery, thank you, Lord, that that went well. And I pray that you continue to help him heal. He's got a long way to go, but I pray that you are with him and give him strength and energy to recover. And Lord, thanks for Mariah. She has friends going to camp, and she is praying that they have a great time, that they have fun and are able to learn and relax and 
have fun together. So bless their travels and their, bless their week at, at camp. And Lord, keep, keep, keep being with Mariah. Thank you that she is so faithful watching. And I pray for Mariah's health, for the people around her, for the, the teachers who help her, and, and so much more. She's such a blessing. We give thanks to you for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, Maria. Yeah, so Maria didn't get to go to camp, so uh, Mariah, it's good to hear that you have friends going to camps. So we're going to pray that Maria gets to go back to camp next summer. Let's do that. Lord, thanks for Maria who's here, and she is looking forward to going back to camp next summer. So I pray those opportunities that she has them, and that you give those to her if that be your will. In Jesus' name, we pray all these things. Amen. Once you join me here, as well as those of you at home, as we close our service with the words of the Lord's Prayer. You'll see them on the screen, and I'll say the first line, and then I'll ask you to join in with me together. We start by saying, Our Father in heaven. Say that with me. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Say that with me. Hallowed be your name. Keeping God's name holy. Your kingdom come. Join me. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Say that with me. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Say that with me. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Won't you say that with me? Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Say that with me. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power. Say that with me. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Say that with me. And the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love that God has for all of you, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, not just those of you here, but those of you watching. And Dennis is going to put our candle out, and even though that candle's out, Jesus continues to be with us. And so that's my prayer, that you see the blessings God has given you, and as well as those of you watching online, the blessings God has provided you. We'll see you soon. God bless. Thank you for watching this video of our Worship at the Cross service. You can support the ongoing work of Jesus Cares Ministries by going to tlha.org slash donate. Your gifts enable us to not only produce videos like this and share the gospel of Jesus with many more with special needs, it also allows us to continue to reach out to those with special needs all across the United States as well as in Malawi, Africa. Thank you again for joining us.